So another demo is here, OK? Um, we just create that app. The app is to uh, submit a form and with some very basic uh, fields there, right? And now let's just try to extend this scenario, for, scenario further. Imagine a scenario that a field worker, uh, it could be a deskless user who's checking their campus facilities every day, um, maybe a security, right? And this field worker is requesting, uh, he observes something and, and he is requesting a support resources by submitting a form. And his or her manager will review this and approve this request and maybe even move further, I can assign the resources by the manager in timely, in timely manner. Of course, this requirement, I think is common and you can do that by uh, what we have the services today, like the Google Form, like the Google Sheets, like Gmail or like the calendar. You, you can do that uh, with some of the um, operation, some of the manual operation on, on each component, then you can achieve this function. But now let's just try to do that in a different way. Now with the app sheet and with the, maybe with some more uh, scripting with the app script. And let's try to connect the spreadsheet, try to connect the Gmail and try to connect the calendar um, to achieve this workflow. All right, um, let me take a look at the time. I think time is not that enough, but I can show you this one. So I have a table here, similar to the table we just did, right, in the last example. So last example, we have the table ID, the timestamp, department, and submitter, if you still recall. Um, now let's extend this table because I would like to have the approval flow. So I am adding more columns here. Like for example, I have the failing facilities or, or failing machines. And then the issue, what is that? And where is that machine? Where is that facility? Um, I will also want to have a justification for that field worker when he tried to submit the form. He should tell me what is the resources you are requesting. So I give it a justification uh, column. And I would like to have an image. He can uh, take a picture. Um, then talking about the uh, manager, um, I, I would like to approve or reject this request. Who approved it? Uh, what's the comment? And I'm going to assign someone to work on that request. I give it a technician or engineer a engineering engineer column. And what would be the time you would like the engineer to work on this request? Okay. Um, generally speaking, when you create such an app, you will create different tables um, to co-work together. But just for a simple demo, I am just putting everything into one spreadsheet. Um, to achieve this function. So now with this, uh, again, what we will do is like what I showed to you, right? If you would like to generate an, an app based on this, you can choose the app sheet and create an app and convert this to, a, to an app sheet. And now I already convert this app sheet here and I have built this one just right before this presentation. So you can see I'm going to the data play and here I have the table and I can see the request and I click the view columns. I can see something similar in the first demo, uh, but this time I am having more fields and columns here. Uh, basically all those I, I just added, all those columns I just added. So let me just highlight some of the columns. For example, the justification, uh, the justification. Um, and you can take a look at what the justification field looks like right now. So this is the rare justification. It's a drop-down box, right? It's a drop-down box. And we have to add some options for the users to choose. And how we do this is actually we are changing this justification column, changing the type um, to an enum, and I will give a few values. These are actually the, the, the value for the drop down box. So if you would like to add more, right, this is the option three. And if you choose done, and you will find that when I save this app, you will find, let's take a look at here, you will see the option three being added into this drop down box. So very similar uh, exchanges you will all refer to in this emulator. And also I have a location field. 
And the location field type is the lab norm. So this is, uh, if I click on it, you will see the result. It's actually trying to record my actual location uh, with the GPS, right? Is we can detect something. And I have the image column. So the image column, uh, which will help you, uh, you, when the user click on this, he can take a photo or upload some photo from his album. Um, there are other text fields, um, which we don't cover because it's just a regular field. So you can enter some text here. Um, this is actually what the app looks like, all right? what the app looks like. Now let's take a look at what will happen with this uh, simple app. So now I am going to app sheet again, and I am going to launch uh, this enhanced app, uh, which is this report machine status. And what I, you see here is I also give it an icon of the, of the app. Now it's going to, into this app. Um, first thing different to the first app we just did, right, is that you see image here. So you see the actual problem of uh, the, the request I'm requesting. Um, like the drawing machine is broken or the CCTV is broken. And I also see the request status. I can see whether this request is approved, it, whether it's rejected. And I, I do this with one simple formatting rules. So if this request is approved, I will highlight with green. Or if this is rejected, I will highlight in red. Just like what you do the conditional formatting in, in a spreadsheet. But anyway, let's just try to submit a request. I click the plus button and I choose the department. The brand tag. And the filling machine, the CCTV is not working. So uh, so no signal, right? No signal. And where is this problem? I would give it a location. So okay, here, this is where I, I, I live actually right now. I give a justification. I would like to request an internal maintenance. And I would like to take a picture. So I could take a, po take a photo or I could choose uh, a photo from existing. So let me just try to um, take a photo. Let me just try to take a photo here. All right, this is a CCTV, it's not working. I use this photo. Um, and then I can just click Submit. So again, actually it's trying to um, commit this data back to their, back to the spreadsheet. So you can see this is a new entry, it just entered. Okay, it's a standard. Okay, so what's different? I further enhance this, which is I go back to the Gmail here. Now I'm the manager, or I'm the manager. When someone submits this request, first of all, I receive a chat message from the Google Chat Spaces. And here I can see the photo I just take. Uh, with this smartphone, I, 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 I I take this photo and the app should try to send this photo to the Google chat. And I have a chat bot that received this notification. So everyone basically in these spaces, uh, I can add more users here, right? So you, imagine I have a working group uh, working on the facility management. Now everyone will be notified um, this is there is an issue for uh, this CCTV camera. And as a manager, I also uh, need to approve, review this request and approve this request. And now you see here is that I, I have received an email here. So if I'm gonna click on this email, um, we have the app sheet integrated with the uh, Gmail uh, based on this dynamic email content. So this is an interactive email. It's not like a regular email. Just like what I can see from the, um, from the, uh, the app, right? But a bit different is that first of all, I see the photo. I see who's go, who submit this request, who will be the submitter, and if the failing machines, the CCTV, here's the location, um, and I can see there, now it's the requesting for internal maintenance. As the manager, I'm reviewing this, and I would like to give it some updates. For example, I would like to approve this, and Samuel is the one who approved this request. I said approved, please continue the work. And I would like to assign someone to assist this request. Now I have the uh, option for the engineer. I can assign, for example, um, for easy demo, I, I, I assign this uh, request to Samuel. 
I assigned to the signal. And the dispatch time would be uh, today. It's now 11 12. So let's say 11, 11 30. I would like to dispatch this request to Samuel. 11 30 uh, a.m. Please work on um, this request, right? So what it does here is when I am interacting with all this, it's committing everything. You see this calendar event just created. And this is the calendar of Samuel's calendar. Uh, of course, uh, you can send this request to anyone's calendar. Um, but in this case, I'm just saying to Samuel. And I see the, the task name. I can see the, uh, all the issue reported here. And I can even see the location, right? Because of the Google map is highly integrated in the Google workspace. So when I am using the app to submit this, everything, like the location information, is real time almost uh, immediately write down, write, write it back to the, uh, to the calendar and, and create this event. So the engineer, when he received this request, he can, uh, it's very convenient for him. He just check his calendar in his daily calendar, and then he can just work on every stuff, uh, all the work task assignments. So how, I achieve, how can I achieve this? First thing is I go to the automation, is that we set a condition uh, about when someone, uh, remember that every time that someone submit a request to this spreadsheet, uh, sorry, on the app, it will go back to this spreadsheet. So I can give it an automation condition. If any request created in the request table, any data ent entry changes, I will give a chat message and this chat message can this chat message can send to external services. Well, in this example, I use the Google Chat as the external uh, receiver, and um, this is going to be a bit technical. It's by using a webhook method that you can post the message, post the data. What message would you like to uh, send to these external services, right? So I'm sending this to the Google Chat in a JSON format. And they also support other formatting, such as the PDF or, or the XLS or XML, different formatting here. So I can post this message um, to external with JSON format. And as I said, it's the sending to external so that it's not only the Google chat, even you can extend these services with other um, third party services. For example, um, now I have the line and I have a line message receive just the CCTV no signal uh, request is sending to my cell phone with other external services. So you can, you can send this JSON format to other uh, internal system, not just the, uh, the chatbot, but you can send to maybe a database or send to other ERP system, right? And I'm also config another action uh, is the send email. So this is where, where I config this dynamic email. Um, I do this, so I send this, uh, email to someone. Uh, here I just use a simple formula is sending to the, the people who submit this request, but you can send this to a group or send with some other uh, formula modification uh, sent to the group of people. So that's why I am receiving uh, this dynamic email and I am I'm receiving uh, this chat for uh, requests, right? And I'm also extend this function a little bit. Remember that I mentioned the app script. App script is an, a local development platform that you can extend the Google workspace functionalities. So in this case, when we are trying to book someone's calendar, uh, at this moment, uh, we, are, we are still relying on the, uh, the sheet development uh, to book someone's calendar. So what we does is a very simple app script. If you choose the extension on the Google Sheets, you see the app script. This is the actual uh, script that helps to book uh, calendar resources, okay? Uh, not many uh, coding here um, because the app script is a um, local development platform, which means when I want to book someone's calendar, I can just use the function directly in just a few lines because we pre-built many uh, authentication, many services already been configured. You just call the API, and then you will create a calendar event um, directly. So what we does here is um, we, we, we get the information from this engineering 
uh, engineer role. We, we get the dispatch card and said, so then I booked the calendar directly uh, to Samuel and I, I, I set the meeting time uh, accordingly uh, based on this dispatch time here. All right, so this is a, a workflow demonstration of how we can do this with AppSheet and other Google Workspace services. Actually, it's not only for that. So AppSheet app can do even more. And, and we see our customers that just keep developing different interesting solutions. Uh, I'll give you an example. Next week will be internally Google. We will have the Google Workspace week. And to this event, we are basically training our, our users. And we have to create, based on use this AppSheet app, to create a Google Workspace Week event. And that app has all the uh, event information, has all the speaker information. And we even add the link of each section agenda, uh, each section's uh, meet link. So the user, when they're on the, on the actual app, they can get the, all the information in one single app about the Google Workspace Week. Um, you can definitely extend this scenario to different places based on persona. For example, the people in the field, people on the floor, people in the office, or um, even sometimes um, some of the scenarios that are with the customers, you can uh, all connect it to these different ideas. So here's a good example. If you go to the app templates here, this is a link, and you will find, as I mentioned earlier, many different scenarios been already been suggested in the app, on the AppSheet platform. When you play around this platform, you will find the ideas and how they um, achieve their functions with no code. Um, they have, it's a very good example. They're already putting uh, everything here. Um, all right, then let me move on. Let me give you another two examples. So this is just the example I, I just showed you. Uh, we just demonstrate this part, right? This part, when as a desk list user, when they, he submits some requests to his manager, and the manager can re retrieve all this information with different channels, and he interact with the Gmail without leaving that tab he's working, working on uh, every day. He can assign, approve the request, and assign the, the, the engineer to work on that um, particular issue. Um, even if you would like to extend this request further, well, build your own flow. In this example, if the uh, request is requesting some maybe, uh, uh, maybe a part that is out of stock already. They need to refill the, refill the stock, and then the manager can use this automation by the app sheet. For example, generate a, a PO order, automatically send this through the email, send to the supplier. Right? When I click Approve, then I will generate a PDF, and I will send by the email and send to the supplier. And on the engineering side, because he, when he's working on that uh, a problem, it's the calendar invitation already sent to the user. So he can, when he's on the field, he can use that Google Meet link to talk to the uh, Desk user, talk to the manager, or even some advanced cases. We have the variable devices. We have the Google Glasses that they can, using these variable devices, join the Google Meet and work on with the remote support uh, together on, on that particular issue. Another example would be for the COVID. This is also a, a very common usage right now on the app sheet is that you can create, actually create, for example, create an app app. That app perform the function about uh, uh, the health decoration. So before every day you go into the office, you will need to use this app to record your temperature, to report do you have any symptoms, right? If you are, everything's good, right? Then you can, you will receive a code, right? This code is that you can enter in into the um, into the office, but if no, it's something that I I I I do have a symptom, and I report this, and the manager will be notified. As what I just show you, uh, you, you can connect everything this with the other communication tools. So manager will receive. Manager can even track the shift schedule because um, if the shift schedule is based on the Google Calendar, so you will basically see uh, who are in the same shift on a particular day that you know who are the close contacts, right? Then you can connect this, send this information maybe to the illness response team, and they are working on uh, all this information. Uh, and you can easily send this uh, or organize a meeting with the Google Meet, uh, with, the, with the Google Chat uh, or, or the calendar. 
basically do your own fill. So now this is a very good diagram to, uh, to all the components and the services, right? I, I would call this is a very good because the, imagine, let's say if you have that much demands and this is a requirement, and by using the Google Workspace native functions, maybe you already achieved 50% to 60% of requirement already being fulfilled. But still there are some gaps in some of the apps uh, again, I would like to mention if you are working on many spreadsheets every day, or maybe you have many paper uh, pauses today, then considering that part can be maybe develop an app and distribute this app to all their um, collaborators so that, so that they can update all the data into your spreadsheet immediately. And you can achieve this by this local, local platform, by the app sheet, and fill in this gap, right? And with the extension of the app script, because this is a local platform, so you can uh, even give you a more flexibility to extend your functionality and connect to external sources. So if for anything that no code cannot do, you can do that with a low code uh, based on this app script platform to develop a solution based on Google Workspace. And don't forget, the GCP also provide a big umbrella that is for the app modernization. There were tons of services like the Antos, like the ABG, App Engine, or, or even the Cloud Build or Cloud Deploy, Cloud Functions. All these functions can be uh, uh, developed uh, by using these services. Uh, but of course, that will need a more professional uh, support or development um, to do this uh, app modernization.